Hey, how's it going everybody? Ian, Larry Baronis here, and welcome back to Larry's Fountain Pen. Today's milk call day, right? Okay, let's get started here. So, <clears throat> milk call is going to be from yesterday, which was Tuesday the 12th, and today, Wednesday the 13th, because didn't have time to do it yesterday. Uh... So let's get this done right now and uh, show you what's in these packages. So, because really I forgot, I always forget, so bear with me. And these are my, I think, before I say anything, yes. My bill, excuse me, my beetle pins. I mean, bill, uh, what do you call them? Uh, uh, What's well, that to go on your hat? Yeah, for my hat. Okay, yeah, uh, pins. Like for lapels or yeah, the other, the beetle pins that, you know, you have the little backs on them. And uh, yeah, so it, yeah, they're kind of cool. And uh, so that's going to be going on my hats with my pin stuff. Well, that's cool. Very cool. So I'll just throw this in the trash. And we got one something in here. <clears throat> and I'll do a review on these as I always will. So hopefully I will. Now, ah, here is the other gin hell that finally got here. The $5.99. But it's in a beautiful greenish color. Yay, finally got here. All right. I'm excited about that. And here we go. I think. They're in there pretty good, so let me rip that open. So these are the Jin Hao 159. Yes. Here, well, let's see, get the other pin. Put it all together, I guess. Hopefully, it's going to be. And let me find the. Well. This one, for some reason, let me look in here first. Here it is. Yeah, here's the converter. All right, so. Here's the white one, which I wanted. And I believe, I have to look it up, but I believe this is supposed to be the fine nib. I'm not sure because it's not on here. So I just have to look at it and go from there. And here's a, a, a different Jin Hao that I will explain to you later. It's got that Parker 51 arrow look on it that uh, kind of caught my eye. But the color is really amazing on this pen. So that's going to be an interesting pen for sure. At least my opinion. Alright, let's see what this is. Okay. Here we go. Nothing there. Here we go. And there we go. And here we go. What does that look like to you? Well, <clears throat> I finally decided to bite the bullet and get this Jin Hao. It's supposed to be, well, well, it looks like kind of a reminder of the Diplomat, Big Red, remember? So, 
that's that one. And, of course, I had to get the Hero 616. Because, you know, they look uh, kind of like the... Uh, Parker 51. So let's open her up, I guess, down here. Oh, come on. There. Here we go. Comes with a cartridge. Okay. And it's got the Parker arrow here. And it's got a white, supposed to be jewel on it. Pull off cap. I think it's a fine nib. Open it, sucker up. Comes with a simple converter. Pull, pull out converter. Plastic. Uh, but uh, you know, I do like the the style, the color, and I just wanted to get the feel of this and just see uh, how she writes. Okay. Well, my friends, we got one more to do, and then we're done. The best part of waking up is finding a fountain pen right before your eyes. So here we go. I'm kind of thinking and hoping this is what I think it is. And it is. A bunch of peanuts. I could bet you couldn't eat them. So let's look through all this maze. Of course, you get the, and it is what I think it is. Yes, it is. It's what I think it is, a rubber band. Not really. Here we go. The Endless Summer. Coughlin. One of my favorite all-time pens. Let's take a look at it. I've been dying to see this pen. I like the picture on the box. Yeah, it's a good looking picture. I like that sun setting. Looks nice. And this is number 1,343 out of 1,898. So they only made so many and that was it. And that's another reason that caught my attention. And here is the reason why Ooh. I got it. Beautiful. Uh, but I got this one at a real good deal, I, I think. Uh, hmm. I have to go in there and see if I tighten the, the cap up. There, that may do it. Yeah, that did it. So... Anyway, I, I believe I was on an auction for this one and got it at a decent price. At least I thought it was. So, and we have another one right here. Uh, this is the last one. And uh, they're all finally starting to come in. They, they've been ordered for over a month, which isn't really too long of a wait. Now look at this one. Gorgeous. Look at this. Beautiful. And would you like to do the honors of the name on this one? This one is the Lambatu 3072. And that's why I got it because I have some Lambatus and I really like the way they 
bright. But look at this. Look at this stunning, beautiful pen. That is a knockout of a pen. Stunning. Just beautiful. And probably a pull-off. Or is it a screw? Unscrew. There's that. So it is a pull-off. So there we go. You got that hooded nib. I like that. Sharp looking pen. Kind of reminds me of one of your pens, Mr. Nelson, in a way with that nib. Oh, yeah. But it is a really a good looking pen. It's the 3072. So, this is the, the haul of pen mail. It's been a little over a month, maybe one to two months, but they all are here. Oh, and this is the one that finally came in that never made it with the other two. So, there it is. Well, folks, thank you for joining me today on Larry's pen mail call. It was an interesting one for me. And, like always, a lot of peace and love to each and every one of you, my good friends. And aloha to my friend in Hawaii. So, be safe, follow the rules. And as always, please don't text and drive. Bye-bye.